Hi, Sagittarius. This is your reading for the time period of November 1st to November 14th, 2021. Um, if you have IG, I started my tarot series, so please feel free to go over there and partake in it. If you have questions, comments, or concerns in regards to it, you can just DM me directly through my Instagram. All right, so let's see what energies are coming through for you for this time period. I will touch base with it towards the end of November and December as well, okay? You know what's interesting? I'm getting a lot of energy like as I was shuffling just now that a lot a lot needs to be said. Um <laughs> a lot needs to be said or a lot is being said. I don't know. That could be in the current, a lot was said, could be in the past, um, or a lot needs to be said or explained to you, if that makes any sense. So either you need to do this, um, Either you need to project that or somebody else is doing that towards you, if that makes any sense. Um, it does have something to do with a business deal or it has something to do with a contract. This could be a conversation that you're having with a lawyer. Um, this, I was going to spouse, it's, as, it has, it's in regards to a spouse, a lawyer. Um, it could have something to do with divorcing and like, you know, legalities and things of that nature. If you're married per se, but it doesn't have to be, or if you're getting married or, you know, you're going to court to get married, you're going, um, possibly to do some type of revoking for a procedure or like you may be tied to someone that may be in the process of doing that. All right. I also get this idea of not without your consent. So someone that you're tied to may be doing this exact situation, but they may be doing it without your consent. So if it's not legal, then you just have, um, I also get something about a cheating partner. I don't know if this is like cheating in business or this is like cheating in love. Like something's going on with a partner that may be cheating or somebody could be cheating in business. Like they're not, um, I was getting W2 when I said cheating in business. You may be tied to someone that isn't giving you a W2 or they don't want you to have a W2. Whatever the file, whichever the file is, um, the 1090, the 1040 that you do tax distribution wise, right? I get the idea that you do have access to somebody's assets or someone has access to your assets or they don't and that could be related to a spouse or a boyfriend or girlfriend non-legal you know what i mean it seems like you're going through different situations here one is that you may be getting a divorce or someone's going about doing so without your consent or without your at least discussing it with you if it's okay this that and the third that could be divorcing a job applying for a job or it's divorcing a partner or becoming tied to a partner then there's this idea of revoking some type of procedure either along those lines where you need to attend court or somebody's trying to do something without going to court if that makes any sense okay it could be just a court ordered appearance um that you need to make or someone wants you to make um or a partner wants you to make it just depends on the energy that is coming through so there's a lot going on there and spirit implied that a lot needs to be said if that makes any sense to you in regards to either one of those situations you're dealing with business something's going on with the business um or there's something that needs to be seen with w-2s and tax forms so that's either a business related or related to something that a partner has going on someone doesn't want to do a tax tie with you anymore or at least you're using your intuition that they don't or someone's going with a business and fine-tuning things in business in regards to um you know being financially tied to that okay 
the princess of wands energy is here uh you may show up like this um the princess of wands could also be if you have any children this energy could be a child so in some cases i examine that yeah that could be your kid like a princess of wands will be an aries a sag or a leo that's younger than you or they're a child okay they're the energy that's underneath i get this idea of a dispute so a dispute could be what i just explained from the beginning what i was picking up um in regards to them so if they're if they're not only your child or they could be if they're not only a child then they're then they're an adult that is younger than you and there's a dispute going on with that individual court wise um there's a few legalities surrounding this individual if you're tied to them okay um I get this feeling that they do want to work out something with you or they do either they want to work with you or for you or they want to get something done for you if that makes any sense all right or you want to do the same for them so if it's a kid you're working out legalities for your child if it's an adult then they want to um i get keep receiving benefits if they're an adult they want to keep receiving some type of financial benefit from you if that makes any sense so financial benefit could be state benefit financial benefit could be from your job and they're younger and you give them you may give them some money you may send them money if they're a child or you're a younger person or they're an adult they have access to your information or uh, they keep your information on file this could be something going on in the workplace they may keep your information on file and that could also be where um, um, I have the court ordered appearance that could also be where the court ordered appearance is coming through as if you need to do something like that in regards to a job and somebody dealing with your um, somebody dealing with your tax papers in a workplace giving you the paperwork or not giving you the paperwork okay Your starting point has the Ten of Pentacles energy. So the Ten of Pentacles will be family money. And it's also the fact that you make money well. It could be with that person. Um, I guess she holds documentation. So the Princess of Wands energy, if they're an adult and they're younger, they, they hold your documentation for you, the Ten of Pentacles. Right? And them holding the documentation um, implies that they, you could be sending them to I get either leave with a lawyer or you're going to you may need to go to a law office with the document or they need to go to the law office with some type of documentation the the idea of it is to um i get protecting assets the idea of it is to protect assets that you have but the assets you're leaving with the presence of this and they're responsible for taking it to a lawyer if you could be going with them to take your assets and theirs combined or just your assets and you're discussing with a lawyer you know i need this protected I need to get this protected. I need this safeguarded. I don't want anyone. I get the idea of a spouse. They could be a spouse. If they're not a child or just a younger person that you do business with, then something is going on with like a spouse, like an external spouse. You know what I mean? Or someone that you consider to be someone that if you're not necessarily married to someone per se someone that you have financial dealings with you i didn't need to take to court so someone that you have some type of financial tie or if you have some type of financial dealing with you need to take that individual to court if that makes any sense okay and you can it could be the princess of wands that you're taking to court or there's an external sign that you may be taking to court or there's another element where you're traveling to protect your assets or the assets of the princess of wands energy right they don't understand also why something needs to be done when i when i said the princess of wands that they don't know why you need i get protect they don't know why you need to protect something if that makes any sense they don't know why you need to protect a relationship they don't understand why you need to protect some type of asset they don't understand why you need to go through this procedure right there is this idea of being paranoid for no reason I'm kind of getting that idea. You may be paranoid for no reason. Or the Princess of Wands energy is paranoid for no reason. 
<laughs> like you whatever is happening here you it's either your responsibility and you're initiating it with the princess of wands or you're looking to the princess of wands energy for perspective and they they deem you to be paranoid for no reason or something that the princess of wands energy wants to do you're looking at them or you you're telling them that you need to okay you're discussing with them that they need to do something and they may be the ones that are paranoid for no reason so whatever is asset wise that you have going on money wise business wise that you have going on you you deem it to be I don't know attacked by external factors or some type of existential issue that you have attached to it I get they perceive so when I said existential issue the princess of wands energy they perceive something t for you something that you're trying to do or the way you're going about doing it they deem it to be an existential issue if that makes any sense okay because it says existential like you your existential if you don't know what existential is existential is like the constant worry or concern about one's existence like you existing somewhere like existing in a job existing in life or just like external factors you know what i mean thinking that i'll give you a really interesting example thinking like you're going about your day you're working you have your regular schedule and you thinking that someone is against you <laughs> i don't know how to i'm trying to explain it so that it makes sense like an existential crisis almost maybe what's going on with you so either you have that as that's a business connotation you got some type of existential issue in business or is an existential issue with yourself intertwined with a business intertwined with paperwork intertwined with protecting assets and things of that nature but it's coming off as paranoia to someone in your circle like it's looking like paranoia for some reason okay the waiting position has the three of pentacles energy so the three of pentacles the three of pentacles with the ten of pentacles will be that you need to collab it could be with earth sign you know but yet they're responsible so an earth sign energy may be responsible for why something is happening the way that it is if that makes any sense okay um it could be related to like the divorce or some type of legality that is surrounding the earth sign and you need to discuss with the princess of wands how to um i get safeguard you, the princess of wands could be responsible for safeguarding a business that you run or some type of tie that you have to the earth sign like the princess of wands may be responsible for protecting that for you especially if you need to go to court or if you're thinking about going to court or taking someone to court right something is going on here with like i don't know if it's literacy or like um like some type of literate situation is going on here whatever that means or either i don't know if that's literate or legitimacy literate or legitimate like someone being legitimate may be a situation maybe on the forefront of your mind like somebody's a business being legitimate right like a business that may be your concern like that's something that you have going on with the earth sign or it's something that you have going on with the princess of wands and like there's a business that you run with them or you're contemplating doing something with them and there's um there's an issue with the taxes or there is or is not an issue with the taxes for the uh, business or the earth sign energy that you're tied to they may run a business on the side and i get partaken you want to partake in their business that they run on the side right or it's your business that you're making money from and you're concerned you're concerned about I get who's involved in it. You you may be concerned into who's involved with the business, right? So it could be Earth sign is involved, or the princess of discs. I mean, yeah, the princess of discs could be like an Earth sign or, or whatever Earth sign. I said that by accident, actually. Or the princess of wands may be involved with that, right? The princess of wands may be investigative into a business that you do have or work that you do so you may do something with them directly or it's how you make money with a princess of wands or how you make money for a princess of wands all right and the three of pentacles um may be waiting on direct communication from the earth sign if it's shown up here like an earth sign all right you may be waiting on communication from them 
<laughs> the present has the six of wands energy. So the six of wands is your energy and that of Leo and that of Aries elements here, right here. It is victory. So whatever it is that external fire sign energies may be helping you with then there's victory that means that you you're going to succeed in a business for example right the spirit said get the taxes or obtain the taxes from a business that you're in with obtain the taxes of a business that you're in with the earth sign or the fire sign like you need to obtain taxes from a business that you're in with them or they're they're in with you or they have or you have their tax papers or you have the princess of wands energy tax papers right something is for distribution that that is happening so you may you need that for distribution purposes or the princess of one the princess of wands energy needs that for distribution purposes or they're doing that with you and you need it for distribution purposes right it's the way somebody's trying to safeguard their assets it's like the way somebody safeguarding their assets with someone's information, okay, funds that you use someone info, okay, funds that you use someone's information to make, if that makes any sense, is why you're using the prince, the princess of wands energy, is why you need the princess of wands energy. So you say, for example, you did work or you were collabing with the earth sign, the Capricorn, the Taurus, or the Virgo. Something's going on, something may be going on with their assets, or something may be going on with their W-2s and you know 1040s and tax papers that they file separate you separately from you, or you file, or they filed, okay, or you filed with them, or you're trying to obtain from them, if that makes any sense, or you made um you could have made money using their documentation if it's the earth sign. Right? So, the Six of Wands is that there's an Aries element or a external Sag or a Leo that may be helping you protect the money that you use. I hate a social. Protect the money that you made with using the Earth Sign Energy social or using the Earth Sign Energy, um, um, something about the Earth Sign Energy assets or their taxes. You could have made a distribution. You, there could, there's some type of distribution going on with the earth sign energy taxes so you may have been, you may be responsible for that and that could also be how you made some type of money so i don't know if somebody made money like that with your information and that's why you need to do some type of court or you need to protect what you made i, I see what's going on if you the six of wands with three of pentacles and ten of pentacles is that you made a lot of money using you made a lot of i keep getting this idea of a social you made a lot of money using someone's social or you made a lot of money using like something that belongs to someone it could be like something creatively that somebody did or it's like i was gonna paper someone's gonna want a paper um it could be like a document like a document that belongs to someone you could have been making money off of you made a, a document could be a tax document you made money off of using that so what's happening is that the earth sign may may or may not want to collab with you anymore or vice versa and then you it's either them that is they're going to court or I get a separation they want a separation like out of that knowledge they want a separation out of that knowledge and they want a separation from you business wise or love wise it just depends on what's going on right business wise or love wise because somebody realizes that you may have misused their information or you misuse some type of documentation that you have between you and them right so if they're really separate from you if this isn't only documentation usage and and business ties and dis matters of distribution and things of that nature then i feel like the three of pentacles you are making money like you're making money still but i get external factors you're making money still but you feel like there's external factors that are upon you for some reason whatever that means to you right whatever like i said the existential and the paranoia you may be paranoid about how you make your money or i get who's involved you're paranoid about who's involved with how you make your money or protecting those people or at least the protection that those people have on them either they don't have what they have that are associated to you 
I get handling paperwork. People that are responsible for handling your paperwork. Right? Princess of Wands could be responsible for handling your paperwork. Or there's Earth sign energy here, right? They just know what's happening to you. So you may be tied to them, yes. Or they just know what's happening to you, like with your own partner. Like your own lover, your own spouse, if they're not, you know, if they're not like that to you, and if they are like that to you, you're protecting your assets from them, or that you made with their information, or you're just trying to protect your information, period. And you're using an external fire sign energy to help you protect that, right? Theirs is intertwined. So if you have an external fire sign, their documentation and information is intertwined with what you have going on with the earth sign separately. And that's why I get acting erratically. That could be why you are acting erratically. Or a princess of wands energy underneath is acting erratically. Or you're acting erratically in regards to them. Because if, say for example, the earth sign energy goes to court. Or like they file a claim. And you, you have some type of attachment to them. Well, somebody's going to find out that a princess of wands energy, I can get a distribution or they, they did something distribution wise with their own information and yours, or they did something distribution wise with the earth sign energies and yours and theirs combined. They did, but that's how somebody makes money though. That is somehow somebody makes money. So that could be how you make your money. That could be how the Princess of Wands energy makes their money. So what's happening here is either known or unknown. It's known or unknown to the earth sign that's shown up here. It's known or unknown to the Princess. The Princess of Wands energy, I feel like, knows what is going on because their information and they tied their taxes to yours. Princess of Wands tied their tax documentation to yours, or you tied yours to theirs, or you you have the earth sign, you have access to their documentation and things of that nature, and you tied the earth sign energies to yours and the Princess of Wands energy external. So what's happening is that someone someone may not want to work with you anymore. Someone may not want to be with you. Someone may not want to do some type of work with you. But someone is also too late as well. So it could be it could be too late for someone to do something legal with you or just do something with you, period. I get forgiveness. So when I hit do something with you, period, they I don't know if they want forgiveness from you. Princess of Wands may want forgiveness. Or you want forgiveness, but the spirit implied it's too late. So whatever was happening, whatever was happening money-wise and business-wise and tax-wise and documentation, using somebody's documentation and it, it tying external people into the matter. And you may be thinking someone doesn't know that, but they know that already. Or somebody thinks this of you. Somebody may think that you're doing that. You could literally be doing that or you're not. And that's where somebody's funds are coming from. That's where yours funds are coming from. The Princess of Wands energy, that could be like a side job for them. I get to sell information. The Princess of Wands is a side job for them to sell someone's information. Like to sell information or sell documentation, sell photos. It could be photos. It could be tax papers. Just joining people on that. So that's happening to the earth sign, or you involve the earth sign like that with your information, or the Prince of Wands, you do that with, with somebody else's documentation, their W-2s, and information, and things of that nature. Collabing with the Prince of Wands, right? With the Six of Wands energy in the present, right? If this is only in the present. That doesn't mean that it can't change. But if nothing like that is going on that I just explained, then that's just like one storyline of, of how somebody's going about business here. But the Six of Wands or the Ten of Pentacles is that you are victorious with or without an earth sign, with or without Princess of Wands. You are victorious with them. If it's not a Princess of Wands, it's other fire sign energies like Leo's and um, other Sag and Aries element that you may be collabing with. But you have some type of tax tie with. I mean, your job, of course, whatever job you're in, you're going to have a tax tie with other people. Or you're going to have, it's going to be an issue with distribution on your end or their end. Something's going on with distribution, right? And you're like, the spirit is like, are you, you know, you're a little paranoid about something? Or you may be thinking somebody's distributing your stuff in your workplace. Or they're distributing tax information. You may be thinking somebody's selling photos and selling documents and selling files. You think that? Someone thinks that of you. 
someone may think that of you okay or that's happening that i got a business partner you could be some you're, you could be someone's business partner or you have a business partner that is doing that somebody a business partner is doing that but that's how somebody makes money hmm. Some part of it, if that's not the case, then you're just working. Like, that's like storyline number two. If that's not the case, then you're just working and you're victorious. You got collaborations with Earth Sign, you make money with Earth Sign, you know, but all the legalities and all those kind of things you may you need to be aware of, or they need to be aware of. You do this, you're victorious, collabing with the Princess of Wands, you make money with the Princess of Wands, whatever it is. The Knight of Discs energy is here in the future. And then in your instincts has the Ace of Wands energy. So the instincts, this is a creative venture or an idea. I get safeguard information. It has a lot to do with safeguarding information. So whether you're successful and things of that nature, you still want to know how to safeguard something and that you have going on in business. How do I safeguard this? How do I, you know, who's my lawyer? Like, who should I go meet with a lawyer? If you if you're not familiar with going to go deal with a lawyer, if you're not familiar with that type of legality or court appearances and things of that nature, then you need to, you know, you may need to get educated on, or someone else needs to get educated on. If that makes any sense, that could be the earth sign, you, or princess of wands. That's the creative idea. You're making money, but how to protect the assets? How to? For some reason, you have this heavy. You have like this this heavy feeling in your mind of how to protect your assets. Like you think that someone. I just, I just feel this idea of like you think that someone is after them. You think someone is after them. You think a spouse is after them, right? You think you may be thinking a spouse is after them. A coworker is after them. But something about that it made me just paranoid. You may be thinking that um, I was gonna agent as well. Something's going on with an agent. If you have an agent or a manager, you may be thinking those people are after it. They are or they are not. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. You want a good lawyer. You want to protect your things. Three of Pentacles in a waiting position. You want to protect your thing. Princess of Wands. If they're not, you know, they could be somebody that you work with. They are friends, they could be family, they could be co-worker, they could, you know, be someone that is trying to help you through some type of procedure. Or something's going on with their information being intertwined with yours. And that could be how you protect them, persons of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, female, external. They're a child or they're a younger person that's a business partner. You love that person, you love the princess of wands, right? So you want to protect what you make with them. And the earth sign? Are you protecting what you make with them? Period. That's it. With the ace of wands. If it's not anything like that, the ace of wands and the instincts is just a creative idea that you have to make money. Period. It's a creative idea you have to make money. Period. Three of pentacles. How can I make money? How can I? I get raw talent. You may be making money with like raw talent. Or someone around you makes money with their just their raw talent. You know, raw talent is really is, is really important. Like your raw talent is how you make money. Okay. Um, the Five of Cups energy is in the accomplishment next to the Ten of Pentacles. Right? The the Five of Cups will be water sign. Cancer Scorpio Pisces element. But the spirit is giving me an idea of what they're telling you or what they need to tell you in regards to a Prince of Wands. In regards to, and you have a knight of discs. That's why I said the earth, you have an earth sign energy that you're involved with. In regards to a knight of discs, so a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, female or male, knight of discs in the future. It's in regards to. It could be what the water sign is telling you about them, or it could be what your. It could. It's right next to the Ten of Pentacles. It could be what a water sign is telling you is going to happen. Okay. It could be what the water sign is telling you or going to tell you about your money. See, I'm looking at these numbers. The three could be like the three, third of November. The five could be the fifth of November. Right? Maybe that's something going on at the end of the week or, or somewhere in the middle of the first week of the month. The 10th could be the 10th of November. 
Ace of Wands could be an idea that you have literally had on the first. <laughs> and then the six could be the sixth of November. Okay. The five the five of cups, the three of pentacles, and six all reside in this first week. All reside in the first week of November. And then the ten is like you're going towards the second week. That's like the weekend, isn't it? Going towards the weekend. There, there are details coming towards you about a business or the water sign is telling you is telling you information or at least they're gonna they're gonna relay information to you that a knight of wands that a knight of this energy I get extract a knight of this energy they want to extract from you or they want to somebody may want to extract funds from you or they want to extract from you I don't know if you're just extracting from them based on I also get ideals you could be extracting from someone based on their ideals if that makes any sense whatever that means their ideals you're extracting from a knight of this because of their ideals or they're doing that because of you ideals can be business ids um i must say i meant to say ideals but i i was getting the idea of ids something could be going on with uh, somebody's id your ID or Knight of Disc Energy ID? Prince of Wands Energy ID? Right? Or ideals. Like, you know, something going on. It, it could be the way you use somebody's ID. Three of Pentacles with a Knight of Disc. Right? I can distribute. So a lot of it has, someone, a lot of what is going on is distribution. Is the key word to what is happening here. So either you, either you are responsible for making copies of a Knight of Disc Energy IDs, or they, they're trying to make a copy of your ID, and something about that may be making you paranoid, or you make it's making you nervous for some reason, right? There's this element of nervousness that you have going on here for some reason. Like I said, the ex existential and the paranoia. So I don't know if someone else around you feels that way. Or, or you feel that way, if that makes any sense. You feel that way, or slightly. You feel that way, or slightly, with a business, or someone in it. Or findings that someone is coming to you, five of, five of cups with the ten of pentacles, findings that, I think someone in a business partner did as well. That something's going on with what a business partner did, or what they're doing. Five of cups with the ten of pentacles. So this could be a situation here where you you may work with a knight of disc. You do something with a knight of disc and a princess of wands. Right? I get not forthcoming. One of those elements is not forthcoming with you for whatever reason. It could be tax related, distribution related, selling things related, whatever it is. Like one of those elements isn't forthcoming with you. So I don't know if you're not being forthcoming with those elements. Uh, I get where documents are going. If you're not being forthcoming, it has to do with where their documents are going or where your documents are going or who someone is talking, who someone is telling someone, the person that one of those elements is telling is happening with your documentation or theirs or who you're not telling, who you didn't say, who you didn't reveal. Okay, Jesus, wait, wait. All right, let me just take my time with this. The Knight of Discs and the Princess of Wands. If someone's going on distribution with those two elements, whoever they are to you, that's one. And you're not telling them where something is going, if that makes any sense. You're not telling them, or you're not trying to tell them where some type of stuff is being distributed to, or what's going on with the taxes, or their documentation, things of that nature. You may not be telling them anything like that. Or, something's going on with them not telling you any the same thing. They're, they're, one of those elements isn't telling you the exact same thing. They're not telling you the exact same thing that I just said just now. Right? They're not telling you the exact same thing I just said. So I'm not going to repeat it. But it's like, that's what's happening. That could be happening in a workplace. And the extraction is you extracting yourself from a business deal. Staying in it. Or somebody external extracting themselves from a business deal. Or staying in it off of knowledge of distribution. Or the taxes. Or the information. 
or they're selling the documents or they're selling the images or they're selling whatever it is selling 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 things and someone's got all the id cards as well this could be a situation here where you work in a job with people i think you're feeling like somebody may steal information in a job that you're in you know that you don't know that or in a business deal that you're in i don't know if you're doing that or you're dealing with people that are you're dealing with people that they do something really sketchy with your things. I don't know if you do. Are you responsible for the sketchy things that are being done? You could be responsible for the sketchy things that are being done. Or somebody external that you have attached to you. They're responsible for the sketchy things that are being done. Five of Cups. Next to the money. <laughs> right? It would be convenient for that to be next to the money, but you, you don't want that next to the money anymore. But anyway, the water sign, Cash Scorpio Pisces, is relaying information to you that you may not see. <laughs> I mean, it just depends on what's going on. There may be information and things coming to the surface that things of things you really don't see. You really don't see. There's this idea of taking a break from work. That could be a reason why you did or you are or you want to take a, a break from work if that's if this is knowledge of things that is coming to the surface for you you know I'm getting this idea of should have changed a job a long time ago maybe you should have changed some type of job or you should have done something a long time ago before you made like a certain amount of money somewhere or before someone external made a certain amount of money somewhere with you or by themselves. Or before you got too deep with, I, I keep getting distribution. Before you got too deep with distribution. Before you got too deep with distribution. Before someone else around you got too deep with distribution. Whatever that means, okay, to you. I know what it means, but it's like if, if how it resonates with you. The Seven of Cups energy is in the spiritual self. All right. So the Seven of Cups will be options that you have. You know what I mean? I ain't keeping someone somewhere. The Seven of Cups with the Three of Pentacles is you keeping yourself in a business deal. You have options of how you can stay in a job or how you can stay in a business. Or Seven of Cups will be options that you need in terms of work. Or you're looking for a new job. Three of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups is looking for a job. Or looking for a new opportunity. That's why the Seven of Cups is there next to it. Or it's the Earth sign. It could be the Earth sign. You know, how to keep them with you. Right? There is something, you use something that, you could have used something that is theirs too many times. Or they know you use something that is theirs too many times or vice versa. Whatever that means. So it could be documents. It could be, um, something is also going on with fingerprints or somebody getting fingerprinted. For something that they need to do for work. Or you need to do for work. Right? You need to do for work. Or business. Seven of Cups next to this. And you may be paranoid. Or you may be nervous about getting fingerprints done. Or somebody else's. This depends on what's going on. I don't see why. It doesn't really, really matter necessarily. But it's like you you figure out what's right for you business-wise. It will come to you. Seven could be the 7th of November. The 3 could be the 3rd of November. You could be working on the 3rd. And then seven. you could be finding out something between the 3rd. You could be finding out something between the 3rd and the 6th. So that's 3, 4, 5, 6. All those days are here. All those days are here. And then by the 7th, you're going to need an option. By the 7th day of the November, you're going to need some type of new option in terms of work. It could even be love related. The 5 of Cups is when you find out something or when someone is going to tell you. That's the 5th day of November. So it's like you're going to find out something on that day. You're going to find out something on that day. And the 10 is protecting assets. That's why the 10 is at the 10th of November and protecting assets or trying to figure out a way how to. So the 3 is the 3rd. You have the 6 is the 6th of November. Right? So this is happening throughout the week. Okay? And findings and who's relaying information to you about something specific and what you need, moves that you need to make and things of that nature. 
the ten of oppression is here so the ten of wands will be a burden that you have with some type of creative venture that you want to you know embark on so you have the ten of wands and you have the ace of wands in your in your headspace it's in your headspace right it is a collab that you have going on with the knight of disc it's what you have going on with three of pentacles with the knight of disc is what is going on with them what's going on with the capricorn what's going on with the taurus and the virgo element what's going on with them ten of wands right the whole idea is for you you're trying to figure out a way to keep someone somewhere or keep someone with you or they're trying to do that with you. They may be trying to hold your attention. They may be trying to hold your attention. Or you use something that is theirs, you know what I mean? I get this idea of unlawful. Yeah, something may be unlawful about what they have going on that is yours. Or you have that, what you did was something that is theirs. I get with the Princess of Wands. So when I say that, it has something to do with because you involve a Princess of Wands energy underneath. So the burden that you feel resides with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag female external. That's the burden that you feel with the Princess of Wands energy underneath. So now you need to come up with a new idea with the Princess of Wands. Or if you're, you know, someone, it could be a situation here where the Princess of, Princess of Wands could be a female child, a male child, could be a female a female adult that's younger than you or a male adult that's younger than you that's shown up like a female somebody could be bisexual that they're younger than you and so what's happening or they're just something if they're showing up if a male is showing up like a princess of wands then they something's going on insecure with them or they're really in touch with their feminine side if that makes any sense they may not even know that if it's an aries leo or a sag that's a male that's shown up like a princess of wands but anyhow What's going on with them is, or they're a female, and what's going on with them is that you may need to protect them, or you need to protect their assets, or something that they have going on, I get causing problems, something that a princess of wands has going on, it may be causing you problems, or their, involve, their involvement is maybe causing problems, or potentially, their involvement in a situation that only you and the Knight of this energy discuss. Or at least you make you try to make it come off like that. You try to make it come off as, you know, it's you and me against the world in this business, in this relationship, in this situation. And then you have like a Prince of Wands energy and I get taking all the loot. <laughs> There's a Prince of Wands that is taking all the loot and it's a loot that you made with the Knight of this energy involvement with you. It's loot that you made with their involvement with you. Or they made because you're involved with them. Or the Knight of Discs could be taking something that you made with the Princess of, uh, Princess of Wands. And they may be taking all the loot that you did that you made with the Princess of Wands. Whatever it is. The Rose of Spirit is giving me the idea of secrecy as well. There's some se there's secrecy here that is something that may not make any sense for something to be secretive, but you, for some reason in your mind, you think it's secretive. All right, let me do a changing position. Um, the Three of Wands is changing. So you may not be collaborating, collabing with any more, you're not collaborating with the fire sign that's a female. I get in hiding, so they may need to go into hiding or they're hiding. If that makes any sense. They need to go into hiding or they're hiding. They may be hiding. They may be hiding from a night of this. They're hiding from a business deal that you're in with them. <laughs> they're hiding from what they did. I was at the water sign. They're hiding from a cancer Scorpio Pisces. The Princess of Wands energy is hiding from a cancer of Scorpio or a Pisces. They're hiding from them. They don't want to get caught. They, they don't want the water sign to know the truth. Or the water sign is, they're finding, the water sign energy is finding out the truth, right? I get because of, it's either the water sign is finding out the truth either because of your behavior or because of the Princess of One energy behavior. Somebody's behavior around you in a, in a space. Someone's behavior around you in a space. It could be the night of this energy behavior. 
They may not care. Or the Prince of Wands energy behavior. They don't care. Or whatever is it. Somebody did something really nonchalantly. Somebody did something in a really nonchalant man matter and manner, I should say. And that's why something is happening. Ten of Wands is that's why something is happening the way it is. Something something may be karmic that is happening with you and the Princess of Wands and the Knight of Discs. Something is karmically happening. Good or bad. <laughs> something is karmically happening. You know? Hmm. Here's the Aries element. So you have the Empress will be an Aries or a Libra that's a female going towards the Knight of Disc. So the Princess of Wands, like I said, could be an Aries that's a female. Could be a Sag or Leo that's a female. Or this energy could also be the energy of your mother or a motherly figure that's around you that's older. They're in the resolution going towards the Knight of Disc. I do get this feeling of trying to get someone to change their mind. Like you may be, they may be involved to try to get the Knight of Disc energy to change their mind or Knight of Disc may be trying to get them to change their mind about something that you're involved with with them. So if this is your mother, for example, I'm going to go with, I'm just going to go with that example. If this energy is like your mother, right? If it's something wrong with documents that belong to your mother, if that makes any sense, right? Documents that belong to your mother, or it could be how your mother, how your mother, if your mother is living, it could be how your mother's information got used. <laughs> like, I mean, your mother could show up like this, whether they're a Aries or a Aries or a Libra or not, it could be whatever zodiac sign, doesn't matter. Okay. Um, but it could, if it's an Aries or Libra monthly figure, then. The situation is is that something is going, something could be going on with their documentation or how their documentation was or is getting used, if that makes any sense. So they may have knowledge of that or they don't. They have knowledge of it or they don't if they're living. If they if they're not living, then I get misused information. If this is a mother figure that they their information they they're not living but their information is getting misused, then that's a problem. And that's a problem. Whether they're living or they're deceased. Mother figure. If that's not the case, and there's something's going on here with that. Something's going on here with that kind of distribution and what somebody's doing with like I get insurance. It has something to do with insurance as well, right? So if they're living is it could be how they I get their own mother's insurance. If they're living is how they use their own mother's insurance. So if this is someone that works with you or they do they have some type of tie with you, it's how they use their own mother's insurance, if that makes any sense. Right? Or this is your mother, it's how you use your mother's insurance or mother's information. Whatever sign your mother is. Or whether she's living or she passed. It's how somebody's using it or who has access to it. So it's Princess of or, and what you're using it for. So it's the Knight of Disc, it's the um, Princess of Wands that somebody has, you know, something attached with this person here. Or you do. Misuse the information or not misuse the information. Looking for new opportunities in business. Right? Knight of Disc doing something I get underhanded. Knight of Disc could be doing something underhanded. Or are, you could be doing something underhandedly with them or to them. With the Prince of Wands, you could be doing something you may operate with the with the Empress. And something may be underhanded about what you do with the Empress and then and to the Knight of Disc or in regards to the Knight of Disc. Or they're doing something underhanded to you and this person. Or you think so, Ten of Wands? You may think so. And that may not be the case. That may not be the case. Someone that, I get this idea of someone doesn't care about what you care about. Whatever that means to you. Someone doesn't care about what you care about. So something that you care about, someone is not on that wavelength. Vice versa. Someone isn't on that wavelength with you like that. Okay? All right, or whatever it is, or they're not. Let me look for outcome here, Sag. Hold on. All right, here's Capricorn. That's why I said there's the Capricorn. Whatever's happening here may have something to do with the Capricorn. It has something to do with the Princesses of Wands. It has something to do with the Empress, the Knight of Disc. 
could be Capricorn, Taurus, male, whatever, or female. Um, you have a Scorpio in the outcome. So I was getting this idea that the Scorpio element was the Scorpio element or whatever water sign could be Pisces, Cancer, that they're showing up here. And um, they're, I get a heads up. The water sign is here because they they could have given you a heads up about something before, but they but they didn't. Or they did and you, didn't, you refused to listen, if that makes any sense. You could refuse to listen to the water sign, right? I don't know if they refuse to listen to you. I don't feel that. I feel like you refuse to listen to I think constructive either it's constructive advice or it's constructive criticism about a situation, right? The death card is in the outcome, the sign of Scorpio. All right. So if this is an actual Scorpio, it could be the Scorpio that is I get misused information. It's the Scorpio, whether you're a man or a woman that misuse information. It's a Scorpio. That it did something with something in a business. That's why the cups are here. Seven of cups next to the three of pentacles with the Scorpio. Right? They could have distributed some eight taxes. They distributed tax papers that you have going on with them and the knight of discs and the empress. And the princess of wands in general. Or they have copies of it and they distribute it. You could have asked them to distribute it. And that could be how they get their money if it's Scorpio male or female. Or that's how you get money for the Scorpio. Or that's how somebody's getting money for the Scorpio. Hmm. That's how somebody's getting money for the Scorpio. It could be benefits and things. That's how I was getting the idea of insurance, how somebody's getting insurance and things of that nature. Alright. And they're again messing up. Their involvement may be messing up a situation. Or you may think so. Five of Cups. You may think so. But yet, where it went. So, the Five of Cups with the Scorpio is either where they went or where information that is that they have went or where it's going. Where, where What they have that it, where it's going or where it went. So, either it's in the past tense and what the information went somewhere already or where it's going, where somebody's planning on taking it. I, get, I keep getting distributing, where they're planning on distributing it, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Where it's being distributed. The word distribution is really going to be important for you for these two weeks. But um, the death card energy, if it's the death card energy, if it's not only Scorpio, it is the 13th as well too. That's like the day before this time period ends. Um, but the 13th, this is the 13th card. Something may be going on on the 13th. Or that may be, that could be somebody's birthday as well too right but it doesn't have to be um or somewhere in this week is somebody's birthday that you're dealing with like this either one of these days it could be scorpio we're in scorpio season so somebody's birthday is coming up here as well too okay but uh or it already passed the five of cups with um if it's not only scorpio the five of cups is the death card period is that you a new business partner death card period like the death card energy it's just that you need a new business partner or a new lover a new something a new whatever it is you need a new business partner I also get a beneficiary. They could be a beneficiary to something that you have going on, or the Knight of Disc is, or I partially. The Knight of Disc is a partial benefit. They're partially a beneficiary. Or the Empress is, or the Prince of Wands energy is. They're beneficiaries. That's why the Death card energy by itself is here. But the sun is gone with distribution, and how, I, how you make money for them. It's how you make money for your mother. It's how you make money with or for a partner, a lover. It's how you make money for them or with them. Okay? All right. Um, all right, Sag. Let me know how it resonates with you. Be well. Take care. Bye.